hundred and eighth Milano sound Emil. 18 seconds I feel it's a little less as we come up towards the finish this can still end in tears at the moment it is favorite odds on Peter Sagan, but he's in the worst possible position at the front here. Alaphilippe warms up. They come on to the Aroma in just a moment's time. And Sagan, well, it surely is his, unless there's a mistake. Unless there's a mistake. Well, they round that corner successfully. Peter Sagan, Rob, is going to have to lead himself out to try and win his second monument. Can he do it? Well, he's going to have to ride the other two off his wheel. Remember, no world championship winner here since Beppe Saroni in 1983. 500 metres to go. This is the spot last year, exactly where Sagan was caught up in the crash. It didn't happen then for Gaviria. It did happen for Demar. They're all chasing on behind to bring it back together, but it's not going to happen. 350 metres now to go. As Kwiatkowski looks around, Alaphilippe's going to have to launch his sprint soon. 200 to go. It's Sagan on the front. He he was victorious in Kuhn of Russell Kuhn. He's putting up the gap, but closing on him is Kwiatkowski. Oh, surely he can't do it, can he? Kwiatkowski's coming round. Sagan's going to be beaten. It's Kwiatkowski who's going to do it. Michal Kwiatkowski wins Milano San Remo for Sky. Sagan at the front all the way. And Kwiato does it. Well, what an absolutely thrilling finale. They nearly came together in the final there, but it was the Polish rider who adds Strada Bianca to his, to, adds this win to his winning Strada Bianca. What an absolutely remarkable finale. What a thrilling edition of Milan San Remo, and what a worthy winner. Oh, Michal Kwiatkowski, world road champion in Spain. Michal Kwiatkowski wins a monument here. Sky, who had six men coming into the pocho at the end. It was they who chased down quickly, who rode to close the